In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download Fortnite on your MacBook or MacBook Pro. All you have to do is go onto your browser, so I'm using Safari here, and then you type in Epic Games and then go to the Epic Games website. Here it will show you all of the games which are available through Epic Games. Fortnite is one of them, but in order to play Fortnite, you would need to download the Epic Games launcher onto your Mac or MacBook Pro. And once you've downloaded the launcher, you have access to a variety of games through Epic Games, and you can also play Fortnite through there. So let's download the Epic Games launcher. So you just have to press download and then accept the download. And then you can see in the top right corner, it's downloading the Epic installer. That's 61.1 megabytes. So you have to just double click this to open it. And then you have to move the Epic Games launcher into the applications, like so. Just drag it across and then let go. And once you've heard that noise, that means it's in installed. So let's check the applications and then open this launcher. So on my computer, it's in the games folder. So we just click the Epic Games launcher and open it. It says it like to access your downloads folder, so you uh, allow it and then it's going to download an update. That will take roughly about five to 10 minutes, so just allow that to download. Okay, so we're pretty much done now. So now we're just going to open the Epic Games launcher. So just click it to open. Okay, and now at this point you need to sign in or sign up. So if you've not made an account, you can just sign up here. I already have my own account, so I'm just going to log into mine. You can also use your PlayStation account, Nintendo account, your Facebook, your Google account. So you have a few options there. So I'm just going to sign into my account. Okay, even though I've got my own account, I need to verify my date of birth and also my email address. So now it's preparing the Epic Games launcher. You can choose the install location for Fortnite in particular because I've already chosen to install that. And if you just give it some time now, it's going to start downloading Fortnite. Now, an issue may arise where if you don't have enough memory on your Mac or MacBook Pro, you may get a notification that you need to free up some space. So you need around 93 gigabytes for the current install of Fortnite. So make sure you have that available. Once it's available, all you have to do is click Fortnite, click play for free. And then it will start downloading in your library and you can even click install there to start the process of getting it installed. You can choose the install location and it will queue up and then start downloading. So if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.